Alright guys, we should be back here. Probably making our decision here soon. Screw Adler, screw these guys, betraying me, using me. I feel bad for Bell. Technically, he has my real name, Dylan. So I feel bad for myself in this situation. We get betrayed by both countries. It's it's stupid. Uh, not stupid. I'm just it's just infuriating. Yeah, we're back here again. We will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. All right, guys, it's our time to shine. Where is Perseus? We're going to lie. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Look, they're red. They're bad guys. Adler. Set ambush at. Right. Holy crap! Yeah. We'll leave within the hour. Oh shit, we're setting up a trap! Oh my god. No way. Holy shit! Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. It's a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. <laughs> so what happens if we didn't set up an ambush? That's another whole other ending we could have. All right, everyone converge on the gate. Oh. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? Oh, we're about to kill y'all. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seen anything on our side either. It's him. He fucking lied to us. That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Shit. So we're gonna die anyway. Oh shit, we can actually kill him! Ah! Eliminate your former team. Oh my god. Holy shit! The thing is, too, we could probably die here, and that would count as an ending. Let's go, comrades. Push forward. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not gonna die. You are. <laughs> You're going down. Where are they? Oh, woods. Mason. Oh God, where's Adler? Over here, comrade. This is it. Oh, Mason. Woods. Let's go finish the job, Adler. Your friend went through here. He is not far. Come out and play. You are running out of time and space. He's injured. <clears throat> the cat becomes the mouse. Finish him. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? <laughs> Oh, you're too weak, Adler. <laughs> Holy shit. That street dog should have been put down long ago. Are you going to kill me? You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> what? As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Mm, yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. Holy shit, we just killed everybody! <laughs> Besides Hudson. My god. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago. Presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. Holy shit! <laughs> no way! As far as... Wait! Is it not over? We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. 
A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. This, and if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. So as far as I know, there could be more than like one or two endings. Kasim Javadi. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. Like, we could die. Maybe that's a whole different ending right there. We die in that fight. Um, we don't set up a trap. Like, what could happen? As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. If you can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, he must be eliminated. You say that Helen Park perished in Cuba. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to deal with. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future, one completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. It's like the complete opposite of the, the, my original ending. <clears throat> There's no cutscene? Huh, sweet. Let's skip it, see what happens. Anything at all? Alright, that's it. As far as I know... Holy crap, there's the other ending that I unlocked. I can just do this one. Alright, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go do this one right now and see what happens if we die. And then that's another end, possible ending. If nothing happens, and I just won't add it to the video. Another ending is identity crisis again. Choose to you know lie about where they're at, and then don't set up an ambush and see what happens. So there are so so many different things that can happen in this game as an ending. I'm very curious. All right, so there's no ambush set up, and we are by ourselves. All we did was distract him and buy enough time for uh, him to launch the nukes, pretty much. We'll see what happens. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bill? All right, let's see how it goes. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. He fucking lied to us. That true, Bill? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Damn right I did. I had no other choice but to trust you. What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. Like help the U.S. hide nukes across the world? Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Apparently we didn't do a good enough job. Time's up, kid. I guess I'll finish this job myself. Oh, 
shit. I'm load up the body. Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Get Hudson on the horn. We gotta warn the president. Do they make it in time, though? My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. So that's it, right? Yeah, it's pretty much the same ending besides we don't kill everybody, we they kill us. Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. Okay, the so Soviet Union. it's pretty interesting to see the endings, though.